So now we're going to take a look at how primary key with a partition and a sort key chooses which partition it should write data to. And again, a partition and sort key is known as a composite primary key. So we're going to need some data uh, and then we're going to have to de uh, define our key here. Uh, and so you'll notice that we're filling in both the partition key and also the sort key value. And what's important is that the combination of the partition and sort key have to be unique. So in the case of simple primary key, we wanted the partition key to be unique, but it has to be unique in the scope of the two combined. Uh, and then we have our internal hash function, which again is a secret. Nobody knows how it works. I've reached out on Twitter, asked DynamoDB. They won't tell me, uh, which is great for security. Uh, and so what we're going to do is take our primary key in our data, and it's going to get passed to that internal hash function. Uh, this happens when you just write to DynamoDB. You don't have to literally call it. And then it's going to decide to put it in partition C. But this is a little bit different where the composite or the simple primary key, I just put it in a random partition. This one is putting it with data that is similar uh, to it. So here we have an alien that is a Romulan, and it's grouping it together with other Romulans uh, there. And it's also sorting that data from A to Z. Uh, so the data is close together so that it's faster to access. So that is, that is the idea behind uh, the composite primary key and you know how, how it figures out what partition to go to.